G'day, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to discuss something that doesn't get brought up all that much in color grading videos, and that is the pivot when using contrast. So today we're going to talk about how that pivot works and how with a few little changes to that pivot, it can really affect the way your image looks. So today, let's jump in Resolve and have a look. Alrighty, so here we are in Resolve, and what I've done is I've put in a grayscale so we can get a really easy understanding of how contrast works and also how the pivot works. So at the moment, if we add in contrast, as you can see, we're getting a darker image, but a brighter image at the same time. That means we're expanding our brighter areas and expanding our darker areas, which would give us a more contrasty looking image. And it's in uniform, so it's in equal parts. Now, if we come down to our pivot point here, as you can see, we're at 0.435. That correlates to this reading around here. So as you can see, we're in the middle of our little scope here. So again, equal amounts of brightness and equal amounts of darkness. But what would happen if we were to change this? So let's say we want this to be at one. Now, if you look at our grayscale here, as you can see, the darker areas have affected more of the image than the brighter areas. So we'd get a overall darker image. And as you can see by our contrast curve, really pushing a lot of that brightness down. Now, if we were to change our pivot point and let's say to zero, that means we're getting a brighter area. So we're adding in more brightness to the overall image. So how would we read this in terms of our waveform connected to our pivot? Well, if we put our, again, pivot to one, that means anything below one is being pushed down, which is obviously is the entire image. So that means our entire image is being darkened down. Now, if we set our pivot point to zero, that means anything above zero is being pushed up, which would give us a more brighter looking image, more of a high key looking image. Now let's reset that. So how would we do this in an actual clip? Well, what we can do is bring up a clip here. And again, let's bring up our waveform and get rid of clips. Alrighty, let's do that again. So let's add in contrast. Now I've added in a lot of contrast, way more than we'd normally do, but this is a really good example of how Pivot can change your entire look of your image. So at the moment we look a little bit overexposed, but we can save that, but let's just call that good for now. Now let's change our pivot to one. Now look at our image. As you can see, the brighter areas have been brought down a lot and the darker areas are still pretty dark. So now we have a more contrasty looking image, a lot more moodier image. Now, if we were to change the pivot and change our pivot to zero, as you can see, we have a lot more brighter looking image. So we've brought up all those shadow details and we've really pushed up all those highlights. So now we have a really high key looking image. But at the same time, we actually have a little bit of overexposure. That is an easy fix. What we can do is just put a node behind it and then bring some of those highlights down. Now, as you can see, we don't have any overexposure. We're already clipped the window, but we're already clipped when we filmed it. Again, if we were to change our pivot, so come back to this node here and change our pivot to one, look at the massive difference we have in image. So we've got this really dark and moody looking image and we have the exact amount of contrast added in than we did before. So if you're really struggling with your grade and you feel like it's just not set in a place that you really want, then I'd suggest just playing around with the contrast pivot to get the look that you're going for. Maybe you're going for a more moody look or maybe you're going for a more high key ethereal type of look. This is a really quick and easy way to add that into your scene. Now, of course, there are a lot of other ways that you can add in contrast. You could do it in the curves here by simply adding a point here and then adding a point up here. And we already have a completely different look with just a simple curve. But again, it's completely up to you. How you want the viewer to perceive the image is up to you. So if you want an image to be moodier, then you change that pivot down. If you're going for a more high key commercial type of look or somewhere in between, then of course, change your pivot. You don't have to be at one and you don't have to be at zero. It's completely up to you. 
But anyway, that's just a quick video on how the pivot works. I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, please leave a comment below. Please leave a comment below if anything else you want to see or any disagreements you have with the video. I'm more than happy to converse in conversation. Uh, thanks very much. I've been Drew from Gigant Productions and have a great day.